everybody! Today I'm going to be making an art journal page inspired by the Winter Olympics. I'm working in my Dina Wakely Media journal on one of the canvas pages and I'm going to cover the entire background with snowflake stamps in a bunch of colors of archival inks. The names and colors of all the products I'm using to create this art journal page will be listed in the description below. So I think like a lot of us, I've been watching the Winter Olympics and following all of the athletes. And as I was watching it this week, this idea popped into my head and I had to create it. And now I'm going to add just a little bit of Icy Sparkle with TLC Stencil Butter in white. And I've added some water to it to make it a little bit thinner. And then I'm flicking it onto the page and spreading it out with my palette knife. So I have this icy, crystally look over my snowflakes. To create the Olympic rings, I'm starting out by applying some Distress Ink onto my craft sheet, spraying some water, and then dipping a piece of heavy stock white cardstock into the inky water. And then I'm lifting it up and drying it with my heat tool before I dab that same piece of paper back into the ink so I can start to create a lot of movement and texture within this one piece of water. I'm also spraying it with a little bit of water so I can get this inky spots and drips that Distress Ink is known for. I'm also taking care to dry it between each layer so that I'm having lots of different movement in the ink itself. I'm going to repeat this five times so I have the five colors for of the Olympic rings and you'll see in a second here here are the five squares and then I use die cuts to create these circular rings. Next I die cut out these ice skating rings from three different types of paper metallic silver, craft paper, and white to create a layered ice skating boot. This is currently a discontinued die, but you could easily do this same concept with a stamp or a stencil or even a cutout from a magazine. There's lots of them right now available with the Olympics being currently on TV. All I'm doing right now is cutting up the layers of the die cut so that a little bit more of each of the layers will be revealed the top layer we go. So as the very white top white layer, you can see all the other layers underneath it. And then I also grabbed some hemp twine and threaded it through the ice skates so that I could have laces. Now I'm ready to begin assembling my page. So I am cutting these rings so that I can weave them together just like the Olympic rings look. And then I'm going to glue everything down on this page with Dina Weekly Media Ultra Thick. And that is because this is a canvas page and a lot of these uh, paper pieces are heavier weight and I want them to be permanently adhered onto the canvas page. So the first thing I did was glue down all the Olympic rings and then I'm gluing down the left boot at an angle and then the right boot is straight across, layered like that, slightly stacked. And now I can also glue down my words and of course the year Beijing 2022, which is the year of this Winter Olympics. All the letters were die cut with my Sizzix Big Shot dies machine to create Beijing 2022, but you could also handwrite this or stamp it or stencil it, whatever you feel most comfortable with. And with that, my page is complete. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you were inspired and got ideas to use in your own artwork. I would love to see what you're currently working on, so take a picture and post it on social media using hashtag ArtJournalJunction. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to let YouTube know you want to see more of our art journaling videos in the future.